there are pleasures forevermore. Here in the reading of God's holy word, may the Lord add his blessings to the reading and give the interpretation thereof. And so as we come this morning, the writer said, I will bless the Lord at all times, for his prayer shall continually be in my mouth. And so because of that, the writer said, therefore my heart is glad, and my glory rejoices, my flesh also shall rest in hope. And today is only in Jesus Christ that we have hope. He is our all in all and our anchor hold this morning and grip this solid rock which is Christ Jesus for all other ground is sinking sun. But this morning we need to hold on to Christ who is the solid rock and who is our reason for living. And so this time is prior time and we're going to be doing this song. In his presence there is fullness of joy. At his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. And we'll ask Brother Buckley to open in prayer for us. In his Touch them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, O oh, the mighty God. 
Lead us, O oh God, as we tell the tongues. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise God. This morning, the world is in a crisis. People don't know what to do. The heart of men is failing because of fear. And so the government is trying their best, but nothing can be done. It's only Jesus Christ is the answer this morning. And so this time we are going to be singing another song, 378 from our banner hymn, Near my God to thee, or Jesus keeps me near the cross. And so we are going to ask Brother Nelson to pray for our churches, our leaders, government, and all, so that the Lord will intervene and answer and come to the rescue of our nation as we look to the Lord for ways coming to our help. Jesus keeps me near the cross. There's a precious fountain, free to all a healing stream flows from Calvary's mountain. 378, first and last verse. Jesus King. Seek knowledge from you, 
whereby, God, they can lead your people. As we, O oh God, uh, sojourn through this difficult time in our country, in our life, as a word, God, we put us let ourselves to you. Help us, God, never to lose hope, realizing, God, that you had, in fact, told us that in the last days, there will be many and various things that will befall us. But we are to keep our eyes focused on you. And so, God, we pray that as we focus on you, you will look down in mercy and compassion and heal our lands. God, we pray that you will preserve us, Lord, and help us as a people that we will turn, O oh God, and come to you as the Lord and Savior. O oh God, you declare in your word, if of your people who are called by your name, O oh God, we humble ourselves, and if we will pray, we will seek your face and turn from our evil ways. God, we pray that the hearts of our people will be turned today and that they will come to know you as a creator, as a maker of life, oh God, as a giver of life, and that there you are the one to be served. We pray that you will help us, oh God, that you will not befall us, or will not come nigh our dwelling, but that we will dwell in your presence, God, where you have declared again that in your presence there is fullness of joy, and that your right hand are pledges forevermore. We pray that we will dwell in your presence. Keep us, we beseech thee, Lord, in perfect peace. Bless our leaders, not just government, but our institutions, all of various organizations, God, that have responsibility at this time, God, in the pandemic. We pray that you will give them wisdom. We pray that they will not lean on their own understanding, but in all their ways they will acknowledge you, O God, who is the creator of all and the giver of life. Give us life, we pray, that you have prepared for us through the coming of your Son, Jesus Christ, that we will have life and have it abundantly. Give us abundant life, we pray to you today. Bless everyone else, and as we present, O oh God, ourselves to you, we pray you bless this service, and we pray that somebody somewhere, O oh God, even the hearing of these words today, the message today, will be coming from home, that one soul may come to know you as the Lord and Savior of your life. Thank you for all you've done, and we pray that you will continue to overshadow us and to look over us as we wait upon you for the blessings of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Let us worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name. Hallelujah. Praise God. His name is worthy to be praised from the breast of his son unto the going down of the same. I will lift up my mm -hmm. eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made the heaven and the earth. And so today as we come, we need to look up to the Lord Jesus Christ because he is the only one that can help us today. He is the only one that we can call upon. We should have no other God. We should worship no other God but the true and living God. Because God said he is the, is the spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And so God keep us and God sanctify our heart unto righteousness. As we continue to lift up our eyes and look unto Jesus Christ, who is the beginning and the end. God bless us and God keep us and stand in our heart unto righteousness in this precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. At this time, I'll hand over the rest of our service to Sister Paz and hear from Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Yeah, that you try to find Shall we praise the Lord? Bless the Lord. Shall we lift up the name of Jesus? Bless the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, tell me where would I be? Let me greet my church family, ladies and gentlemen of the community, children, persons on social media, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. It is a pleasure to speak to you today 
knowing that God is in control of our life. Turn your Bibles to 2 Corinthians chapter 1, and I'll read from verse 3 to verse 7. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforted us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble. By the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also aboundeth by Christ. And whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation which is effectual in the enduring of the same sufferings which we also suffer. Or whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. Seventh verse. And our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as ye are partakers of the sufferings, so shall ye be also of the consolation. The word of the Lord. The topic today is God of all comforts. The God of all comfort is with us today. Amen. If ever time people need to be comforted, it's now. So many things are happening around us. And most times when we speak of comfort, we think of our couches at home, our cushions, right. our teddy bears, especially for the children and the ladies. <laughs> Some persons take comfort in food, like fried chicken, chips, chocolate, and you name them. Some persons will go shopping for clothing, shoes, handbags, and you name it. Are you among those persons today? Are you among these persons who are searching for comfort? Well, today the comforter of all comforters is here. Amen. Do you feel as if no one cares? Well, Jesus does. The songwriter put it this way. Does Jesus care? When my heart is pain, he goes on and he says, oh yes, he cares. I know he cares. His heart is touched with my grief. Are you in the valley today? Or are you upon the mountain? Hallelujah. Are you experiencing bad times? Not